Hi there, I'm Lorraine Prokopiu. Welcome to the Reformer Studio. I'm going to take you on a little tour around the Reformer, just so that you get to know the names of the different parts of the Reformer, so we're all on the same page. So the first part that I'm going to talk about, we'll start at this end, is the standing platform. It's, uh, in this Reformer here, it's kind of a wood effect standing platform. They're quite often wood, sometimes you see metal ones as well. And in this Reformer, it's fixed. In some Reformers, they sort of slot in and out. Then you can see we've got two holes here, um, and that's where your jump board would fit. Then we've got the foot bar, which adjusts up and down. Um, and, it, and this one, again, we can have different levels and in some reformers they're just fixed. Then we move down to the gear bar, which is this piece here, which place, uh, it's got various hooks on it in this situation, and in other reformers it's a different way that you connect your springs to the gear bar. So in this one they're just loops, and sometimes they're um, balls on the end which slot into little um, slots. So uh, we'll just put this, oh I'll take this one off actually, and then show you the carriage. So this is the carriage, the uh, sliding platform that moves up and down. And it slides on these rails, I sometimes call them runners. Um, I'll bring that back down again and then move up to the shoulder rests on the carriage. Now they can either be fixed in there and a lot of reformers they're actually, you can take them out and then slot them back in again. Quite often there at that situation, if you have a reformer that can turn into either a tower or a Cadillac. Then hooked on here at the moment, we have the uh, ropes and the straps. So the straps might look different on different reformers. This one has a double loop, one's for hands and the other one is for feet. And this particular reformer has um, a silent system so that when you're lying on the reformer and then you just release yourself out of the straps and maybe drop them, they don't make a noise. Whereas a lot of other um, straps you'll come across look like this. So they have some hardware on there, some metalwork, which can make quite a noise. So that's the difference, that's the silent system and then this, um, this one is more standard. Uh, then we come along to where the ropes are attached, so they go through pulleys, which will then obviously pull on your carriage. And these pulleys are attached to pulley poles. Um, I sometimes call them risers as well because they rise up and down. Now in some reformers they stay fixed, but again this one they'll rise up and down and quite a lot of reformers are set up like that. This reformer as well has these big um, pieces on both ends. Now this one is just for tower insert, so like I mentioned before, some reformers come so that you can convert them into like a half Cadillac or a tower situation, so that's where those fit on there. And I think that is everything on your tour of the reformer. So what we're going to do now is just take a tour around the various different accessories that we can use with the reformer. So we'll start down at this end and we're looking here at the foot strap. Sometimes this will already come with your reformer, sometimes it'll be an accessory and it just loops on the end. Some reformers have um, a foot strap that kind of goes right the way around the outside so they can be different depending on your particular reformer. Then looking at the standing platform here, we've got these two slots where we can put our jump board. So it just literally, in this one, and in most reformers, it kind of just slots into here. Some reformers also have a position where you use the foot bar to help to give stability to the jump board. This one here, I've got some star knobs down here which I would tighten up both ends just to keep that nice and secure. There are varying sorts of jump boards that you can get. Um, this one here is a trampette 
light jump board, which is nice and soft and on the feet and feels great fun. Um, and other ones I've seen are beautiful dome bo uh, boards, so a bit like a BOSU. Um, you can imagine that onto your jump board. So there are varying options there on that one. I'm just gonna pop this off to the side and then I will take this out of the way just for now. And then we've got our varying sorts of reformer boxes, which will go onto the carriage. So I've got two here. I'll just grab these both out. So this is probably the more standard one you would see completely covered um, and sort of got wooden handles. And whereas this one is more like a, a frame arrangement. Now the boxes can go onto your reformer in one of two ways, either as a long box, so along the length of the carriage, or as a short box across this way. Okay, I'll take it out now. And then let me just pop this off to the side, keep things tidy. And then we've got the headrest up here and we've got uh, an extra little padding, piece of padding which can go in on top of your headrest. So it can either, you can either have the headrest itself completely flat and then the pillow on top of that, or if you want even more lift, we can lift this all the way up and have that on top. And actually it's quite interesting, this particular one is quite nice and shaped. Um, you could also use uh, small blocks if you wanted. And I actually use this uh, both way rounds with the thicker piece in the back, or you can have the thinner piece in the back, if that makes sense. Pop that back there. And then just moving further up, we've got the various straps. So you've got your ropes and your straps here, which will come as fairly standard. This situation is a silent strap because it's, there's no metal work here to bang against the rails and make a sound. Um, but you can have varying different ones that clip on. So this is the same kind of style with the double loop here, foot and hand, but this one has metalwork on it. And then you've also got more of a handle if you were doing some hands in the straps, which would then fix on with your little clip. And then this one is one that'll go round um, an ankle as well, same style, little D-ring there, just to clip it on with your hook. Right, let me slide that out of the way. And then the other thing we would use um, in converting it a little bit more, um, so we'll take a look at the platform extender next. Now that's this piece. And the platform extender extends your platform. So you just pop it in there, and then this sits up against the platform and just makes that a bigger area for standing on and doing any work you want to do there. So I'm going to take this out now and just show you the mat converter. So I'm going to take my springs off here and let this come slide all the way up. So I can now make this into a mat or a platform that you would work on. And maybe if you had a tower attached to your reformer, this is when you would make it into a, a platform or a mat. So I'm gonna slide this all the way up, have the ropes out of the way. Take the mattress converter and just slide it in there. Now in this situation um, I need to put the platform extender in as well and, and here this all comes as the unit to, to convert it into a mat whereas quite often you'll just have this one big piece which will go in and um, butt up against your carriage to make this into a mat. Then the other thing we want to think about are, are poles that will come with your reformer or that you can buy in, as a uh, additions to the reformer. So we have a maple pole and we have a gondola pole. So the gondola pole kind of does what it says on the tin, you would put it down like as if you were on a gondola and it just provides balance for when we're doing some standing work on the reformer. And then the maple pole 
is generally used for a kind of spaces and holding and connecting through to the upper body when we're doing work lifting the pole or maybe doing a spine twist. And I think we've done everything. <laughs>